When we think about burnout, we often categorize it using some of the standardized scales into three uh, kind of key areas, emotional exhaustion, depersonalization or cynicism, and then a sense of loss of professional fulfillment. And when we look across this survey, what we saw was that high levels of emotional exhaustion um, is prevalent at rates of almost 60% in the hospice and palliative medicine workforce. And that's inclusive of both physicians and non-physician professionals. When we look at um, issues around depersonalization, which is often uh, the most dramatic of the effects of burnout, at least um, within the inventories, we see about 25% of healthcare professionals experiencing depersonalization, and that's similar in both groups. And if we look at the risk of having both um, uh, the high emotional exhaustion or the depersonalization, it sits again somewhere in that 60 to 70% 70, 70 range. So that's pretty remarkable. And, you know, one way to put that into context is actually to look at it as it compares to other uh, medical subspecialties. Uh, so if you ask your hospital administrators, what's the highest risk subspecialty in healthcare? They'll tell you emergency medicine for, de for um, problems around burnout and leaving the workforce. And we usually anticipate that that's somewhere around 50% of emergency medicine professionals. So think about the data that we just saw for hospice and palliative medicine. We're talking somewhere around 60%, putting hospice and palliative medicine at very high risk.